Hello, my name is Amelia Wood with Keyscan Access Control Systems. Today we're going to be doing a review of the necessary steps required to get a KHS CA150 online with a Keyscan host. What we're going to be doing first to start is reviewing the login process to the terminal service to the Keyscan host, how to log in to the site, how to add the panel to the site, and finally, doing a review of the CA150 wiring and connecting it to a PoE connection to establish that connection to the host. Let's start with the login procedure to the remote desktop services to the Keyscan host. What you're going to need to do is go to mysecurebuilding.net from your internet browser, enter your username and password, click on the sign in button. Once you've signed in, you will see the Keyscan System 7 client icon. Click on that. You will be prompted for your username and password to log in to your customer site. Now that you're at the Keyscan client logon, you will need to enter your customer's site ID, username, and password. Remember that your default user password for all new sites are Keyscan with a capital K at one. Now that we're logged into the site for the customer, let's go ahead and add the panel. From the Keyscan desktop client, let's go to the system settings menu. In that menu, you will see an option for site setup. Select that. That will take you into the site information search window. You should see your site ID in that list. Double click it to enter. Once in the site information page, go to the bottom right corner of that screen and click on panel setup. Now that we're in panel setup, we can go ahead and add our CA150 control unit. To start, you will need to enter the unit ID. I will use a Keyscan default of ACU001. Next, enter your serial number of the CA150. Enter the default password, which will be Keyscan, all capital letters. Select the unit type. In this case, we are using a CA100 series. Leave the status as active. This will allow the panel to connect automatically once we connect it in the field. Under communication setup, reverse network should already be selected. The following fields of information that we're going to enter should be provided to you by Keyscan. You may need to select the communication server processing, which is the communications manager that the panel will be connecting to. You have an option of main, communications 1, 2, 3, or 4. Once again, choose that which was provided to you. To the right of that, you will see the Keyscan Receiver Communication IP address. This will be the IP address or addresses that the CA150 will be connecting to for the host. Enter the primary IP address, immediately followed by a dash or hyphen, and immediately followed by the secondary IP address. If a single IP address is provided to you, enter both primary and secondary IPs as the same. You may also need to enter the override IP primary port. Again, that is all information that will be provided to you by Keyscan. Once all information is entered, simply click on Add Unit, save all the information, and exit back to the main screen. Now, the host is ready for the panel to be connected and for the panel to establish its connection. Let's now review the connections of the CA150 single door access control unit. This is our PoE Ethernet connection for the CA150. The PoE connection provides power to the CA150 unit and all of the devices for the door that are connected to the CA150. There's approximately 680 milliamps total current available for these devices. The CA150 can also be powered through a 12 volt DC power supply. Here you have the input connections for 12 volt positive negative. 
as well as an output, 12 volt DC, positive, negative. Above that you have your door output connections and your auxiliary alarm output connections. Both of these outputs can be configured for a 12 volt DC output. As well, through a jumper setting, we can change this to a form C relay connection. Above that we have an RS-232 connection that can be used to connect to the CA-150 serially or program the CA-150 serially as well. The CA-150 KHS does not require you to do any programming for communications as the unit comes pre-programmed for a key scan entirely. Above that we have all of our door connections starting with your door contact for monitoring the door position your request to exit device, which is a normally open contact connection, as well as two additional auxiliary alarm inputs. Above that you have your two reader connections. Typically, on a single access control door, you will utilize reader 1 input connections. However, if you have the need for an in-out door configuration, you have the availability of reader 1 for your in-reader and reader 2 for your out-reader. So there you have it, that completes all the necessary steps to get the CA150 KHS online with the Keyscan host. We added our site, added our panel to the site, reviewed all the wiring necessary for you to complete the installation of the CA150 and connected it to an internet connection. And that allowed the CA150 to establish its connection to the host. If you need any further information, feel free to reference the technical installation guide of the CA150. Thank you for using Keyscan products. Mm -hmm.